I'm riding, 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 riding in my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be. Because I'm free in my RV. Well, hello everybody, one more time welcome here from uh, the Hershey RV Show, Hershey, Pennsylvania, 2019, here in September. And uh, let me show you a couple more of these uh, RVs here. Let's uh, just walk around. And um, this, these teardrops are becoming very popular because you can tow them with a, with a, with a lighter tow vehicle and also because they fit in a regular uh, height garage, most of them. And uh, here we have the New Camp Boondock Light. And this is actually a little larger than your regular teardrop. But let's check it out. This is the, the, the 320. This is really cool. For the size, you know, you have uh, this uh, Sitting and, and dining area, which becomes a bed, I'm sure. You have some, um, some, some storage back here. And this windows, check out this, this, uh, these uh, shades. Because uh, there, but you can also do this and uh, open the window and you get your, your bug uh, screen, TV. Wet bath is tiny, but it is a tiny camper, and here you have a full-size uh, galley, pretty much. Uh, no oven, but you got your Nord Cold uh, refrigerator. And uh, is this compression or absorption? It's absorption, which is totally fine. It's a small absorption, and your two, two, two burner range there. But check it out. Check this one out. The barefoot. I have not seen this model before. And it does kind of have that retro look, right? Let's see. And here, oh, it does come with a, is that a cassette toilet or a porta potty style toilet? And uh, in this wet bath here. And here we have, oh, well, that's cute. A small sink with a two burner. And this is a uh, refrigerator here. This one does look to be a compression style, and this this is very. It looks very retro, doesn't it? And uh, with the skylight here, it does not have an air conditioner that I see. But this is cool. All right. Barefoot.co.uk. Okay, so it's a it is a British uh, trailer, huh? So it is, it is really, really, really cool to see different types of trailers and uh, not all of them, you know, you're, 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 you're regular. This one has the Aldi heating system, I see. Yeah, I just noticed none of these have, a, um, have air, an air conditioner unit on the roof. So it would not be like all that great to boondock in the summer in Florida, but if the weather is nice, I really like this barefoot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do more, more research to see what it is all about because yeah, it is not a standard cassette toilet because it would have a, the outside part here, so it's like more like a porta potty kind of thing. This one is cool with the outside kitchen here, the new camp. And uh, outside kitchen means you have a little more counter space in here. It's not a kitchen, it's just counter space. And this is the Avia by New Camp. And this is a much larger unit. This is, it seems to be a 20, 20 some footer. There's not a whole lot of information here today because, of course, it is a, a dealer day, so they don't they don't have the pricing or anything like that yet. But um, this is really cool. You have the, the kitchen here with the sink, and I like I like the design on this um, 
on these uh, new camps. It's very modern. We have a walk around bed here with lots of storage there and uh, yeah, wardrobe closet, Emer emergency exit. And I like, I really, I really like these huge windows, especially uh, all, all around it. And, and uh, I wish my trailer had that because it, it does give the trailer a more open uh, feel, by the way. This is, this is really nice. I like this one. I can't wait to come back tomorrow when they have like more uh, pricing information and that kind of stuff. I have some storage here in the front. And here you have your more uh, traditional uh, teardrop style camper. Which basically it just has room inside, you know, for, for two, uh, for a bed and two people to sleep. You don't have an air conditioner there and the, and the TV, which is important. His and hers, a USB and, uh, well, only his, a USB and a 12 volt and cup holders. Very, very nice unit here. And of course, you have a cooler back here, an outside kitchen and sink. And uh, as long as the weather, the weather holds up, these are great units, uh, you know, to, to camp. It's a step up from a tent, of course. And, um, and it does fit in a regular garage if, you, if, you, if you're living like, in a, like in a gated community or, or your HOA doesn't want you to have an RV, you can put it inside the garage and they'll never find out. And uh, Let's check this one out. You see the design, the, the design aesthetic inside is very, uh, very nice, very modern. And this one also has a, an independent bed, a sink, and actually quite a bit of room here for prepping. This is a pretty large closet. And I'm assuming this is a very small. Actually, it's not small at all. This is very nice as far as, far as uh, wet baths go. This is really cool. Look at this. Look at the design, the design aesthetics on this shower. Look at that. <laughs> it smells like new in here. You, you get that new car smell or new trailer smell. Really good. Look at the, look at the, uh, at the, at the light accents. You know, it's. I like it. I, 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 I like it when, when, when they think a little outside the box when it comes to to RV design and these are very cool let me see what else we have here this is Midwest automotive designs by Rev group but all of these are closed off right now so I don't think they are they are showing them yet I don't know if I said it earlier but we we are here in on industry day today by the way these are this is very very much for off-roading and uh, as you know, I'm getting a little into more of the off-road lifestyle and, uh, and, uh, and I would like to get a, a trailer, an RV or something that is a little more off-road capable. Hello. Hi Watch there. Video. Oh, thank you. Keep it up. <laughs> uh, thank you. I love it. All right. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, yeah, I just ran out, ran out into, you know, as, as, as the day progresses. Uh, I really like this British uh, barefoot. I just realized that it has the, the, the British flag there. I'm, I'm going to find out more information as the week progresses. As you all know, I'm going to be here the whole week looking at RVs for you guys. Let me see what's on this side. I haven't come to this side yet. And there is so much here. As you know, the Hershey RV show claims to be the largest RV show and at least they have the trademark and the website to prove it. So, um, but there is so much that these RV shows uh, tend to, tend to, can be overwhelming uh, at, at sometimes. And uh, by the way, I, I think it's still available on, on Amazon if you want to find out that there's a, a small book by, by John Hoggins called How to Survive a, a, an RV Show. Let me see if I can find it. I'll put a link in the description. 
uh, because you know you you really need to come prepared to an every show of this size because uh, even if you stay the whole week it's you're not gonna be able to see everything and even if you get to see everything but by the end of the day it's all a blur because you know it's, there, there are so many different floor plans and so many different brands and if you want to get technical into battery types and 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 holding tank sizes and let's check out this um, this is a three axle fifth wheel here and um, of course industry day they don't have uh, all that much information about these things yet i don't even know if it is open but if it's if it, if it, if it is not open, I'm just going to sneak in. This is, uh, it has an outside kitchen there. And this is a toy hauler. Toy hauler with, check it out. Your own, your own veranda terrace here. I've seen a couple of those. Uh, I've seen a couple of these at RV parks. It's really cool. You can have your, your, your table out. If the weather is nice, you can have your table out here and, and have sundowners watching the giant center there. And there's there's a, there's an awning up there with the, with the LED. The, the, this uh, these uh, toy haulers are really nice. And here we go, very residential in here as you can see. This is a huge sofa on this side, by the way. And uh, here's the nice kitchen, a lot of lot of surface area to prep stuff. And uh, here we have a dinette, of course. Yep, it's a. Uh, it's uh, that kind of material is not a, it's not cheap by any means. Here's a bathroom. It's very nice. Ceramic toilet, you know, ceramic countertops. And look, it's, it's like a bathtub. It's like a small bathtub in here. And yeah. Very, very residential. And the bed that goes up and, uh, and down adjustable, huge windows. You know, this may not be something that I that I want to get for myself right now, but I can see. I, I can I can see the, especially if you if you're going to stay put at the same place. Uh, right, right now, as as you know, I'm I'm a fast paced uh, traveler. But if you're gonna stay stay put at the same place for a while, these things are so residential, so so comfortable uh, to look at it. I know the GoPro makes everything look a, a slightly bigger than it is in real life, but look at this window. It's, it's like, a, the, like the, the, whole, the whole side of the RV is a window. Imagine, imagine parking at, uh, at uh, Destin, you know, at, at one, of these, or one of these oceanfront RV parks, or, or let's say like, like Rincon Parkway in California, and you have the Pacific Ocean right there in front of you. That's, that's super cool to be able to have such a large uh, window. This is a cyclone by Heartland, by the way, and uh, it's 4101, so I imagine it's in the, uh, in the, in the 40s, size-wise. <laughs> so, yeah, it is, it is a very large, very large RV. <laughs> For a second, <laughs> that, that, that looked like a dance, but no, that's, that's, the way, that, that's the way it's designed. This one is similar, so I'm not going to go into, inside it all that much. Let's check this one out. This is a... Says Lafayette, Woo. but this is like, and you know, fifth wheels. They are there are two different uh, styles. Some of them have the the bedroom in the front and the living area in the back. That's the most common design. But this one actually has the the living room here in the front. And I hope, I really hope, I don't get a, I don't have a, I don't get a copyright strike because of that music playing in the background. Otherwise. <laughs> you know what's gonna happen, but here, here you have a dinette, and uh, here and then in the back you have this uh, huge, not, not so huge, but pretty large a bedroom with a, with a closet and uh, the bathroom. You can even sit down if you wanna if you wanna have a your shower. There are ceiling lights. It has oh, it does have that uh, which everybody is doing these days. The multiplex uh, wiring system, which is cool, uh, I, I suppose, because you know you, you can control everything from pretty much everywhere. You know, you know, I'm a little bit of an old curmudgeon, and you know how how I feel sometimes about uh, you know so much technology, but sometimes manual switch 
uh, suits me better, but a lot of people are liking those now, so you know what. Here we have another one with a balcony, and let's, let's go in through the balcony, actually. Why not? By the way, all these uh, um, toy haulers up here, they have like a seating area that you can use. And here, I guess you could put a table or you could put your motorcycle, golf cart. Uh, I don't know, a lot of them you can use for that. And this is nice. By the way, I've seen, uh, this is uh, modes, it's freezer, freezer temperature. That's pretty cool. I don't know if this is a compression or absorption. It looks like absorption, but I could be wrong. I guess not. Freestanding installation. I don't know. That's a really cool accent there on the cup holder. And this one has the bedroom in the front, as most fifth wheels do. And this one has not one, but two balconies. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Yeah. You can fit uh, at least seven mini tennis in here. <laughs> All right, I'm getting hungry. I'm gonna go, go get something to eat and then we will um, resume our festivities here at the Hershey RV show. Or maybe we'll resume tomorrow, I don't know. I, I like the fact that we have the show almost uh, all to ourselves here because it is a uh, dealer day. But I also like to show you the crowds, you know, and, uh, and how it's on a real day when, like, on Saturday where the, the, the hordes of people are going to be in here and, uh, and by noon it's almost impossible to see anything. So it's, it's good to be here on, on dealer day for sure. All right, let me go walk all the way to the end, see what else they have there, and then we'll... Maybe I'll look at, at Class B+. Plus. I, I usually, because, you know, that's what I want to upgrade to. And, um, oh, here they have the Pleasure Ways, talking about B+. Plus. <laughs> 